the topic of uh, First Amendment. Representative Carpenter. Thank you, Madam Speaker. One of the lessons that I learned in the military after taking my oath to defend this nation was that the Marxist that sits in the tank next to me has the same rights as I do. And first amongst those are the right to free speech and to freely associate with the organizations that I choose. And I think on this day of all days, maybe we should continue to think about um, if you can remove uh, somebody from a position because you don't like what they say or what they think. It's only a matter of time between, between, uh, before somebody else gets removed from some other non-popular topic. Military men and women know that the person in the foxhole next to you may not have the same perspective in life or the same uh, political persuasions, but they are still defending their right to have them because we are guaranteed by our Constitution with those God-given inalienable rights. And that is what we protect with our oath of office. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Yeah. Are there Representative Prox? Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I have permission to speak on the convoy and the Constitution. Representative Prox. And I suppose on our responsibility to listen. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't disagree that we took an oath. We are all of us in this country uh, have either overtly taken an oath or implicitly taken an oath to uphold the Constitution. But there's a lot in that. And the whole objective of the game is for us to be self-governing. And to be self-governing means that we govern ourselves, um, not necessarily be too interested in governing others. And when somebody exercises their right, guaranteed implicitly under the Constitution to speak out, that's one thing. There, there, there are laws that draw limits to that, and I understand all of that. But uh, 